What's good, YouTube? Chase Circus back with another action video. Uh, today we're here with Magic and Bird on Letterman. So I'm guessing Letterman is like the name of the show or the dude that is on the show. It's like a, I wouldn't say it's a podcast kind of thing, but it's 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 like a TV show, like Jimmy Fallon, what he does with like NBA players and stuff like that. Well, he's he's done it with other players, well with other people, but it's it's something like that. I'm pretty sure. Um, but this is a request from somebody down below in the comments below. So if y'all want me to react to anything, go ahead and drop it in the comments, and I'll get it out for y'all. And um. Right down there, subscribe and the notification about the like button. And uh, let's get this one underway. Let me fix this real quick. Full screen. Let's get it. I, I, I want to tell you something. We've been doing this show a, a long time. And uh, the, uh, I'm, I'm really, I don't know what to say. This is something for me, and I hope it is. For You're hyped up, and yeah, I am too. I haven't been this excited. Remember when Nancy Reagan did the walk-on and, and the spit oh, take? Oh, that was exciting. That was a big yeah, night. I thought that Noth was yeah, it. Nothing yeah. like this. But no, this, yeah. No, it's a whole different league. Our first guests are NBA legends. Uh, their rivalry forever oh my. the game of basketball. Our first guests are NBA legends. I, I, uh, I have to replay this. That is, that is crazy. Basketball. The relationship is the focus of the new Broadway I'm down. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I saw the uh, the documentary the two of you did, and I guess it was bro, I wonder if players like big players or big people get like still nervous when they have to do stuff like this. I wonder if they're just used to them now. I'm right about that. Or if they're just uh, used to it now. Compelling. I found it moving. I, I found the, the so much humanity in the, in the production. And uh, it stayed with me for quite some time. Now, uh, you guys lived those lives. When, when you saw the documentary, did you have the same feelings? Or was it just, oh, yeah, that's, that's us. That's what we did. Yeah, they did a great job of capturing our feelings and uh, how we feel about one another. But it's really all about the competition. I mean, even today, if we could do something to co compete against one another, I'd still like to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Magic, you feel the same way? Oh, I feel exactly the same way. I, I wish we could compete against each mm -hmm. other right now. Well, you know I, what you could do is you could go out and buy a baseball team now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I thought about, about buying the Cardinals, <laughs> but after finding out, uh, I found out Urban paid over $2 billion for the <laughs> Dodgers. I know the Cardinals are worth at least $500 billion. That's, <laughs> also, <laughs> yeah. That's crazy stuff. Uh, it's, uh, when uh, you guys uh, knew each other uh, earlier, you know, everybody knows about the, uh, the NCAA championship game, 1979, do I have that date right? But you guys actually played as in some sort of, was it an amateur uh, summer tournament or like that? Where was that? When was that? Well, it was in Kentucky, and uh, that's the first time probably in both our lives that we actually sat on the bench. And I don't think <laughs> neither one of us liked that at all. But, uh, because we were on the bench, David, and we got a chance to play against the starters every day and at, at nighttime at practice. And Larry and I were so upset, we took it out on the starters. Right. We, <clears throat> so we beat them every single day, right? But uh, Larry was a special cat because it proved to me this man could really play basketball. I had heard about him, but I never saw him play live and in person and uh, he was incredible i mean uh, he dominated and that's what it's all about so mm -hmm. i went back home telling everybody oh this larry bird guy is for real right and, but you guys were kids then i mean you're a little older than magic but you were what 17 18 19 in that range right in there when that happened i think i was 19 yeah uh, 19 or 20 probably 18 yeah 
Yeah. yeah. And you were, from the beginning, and correct me if I get any of this wrong, uh, because it's your life and, well, you guys ought to know. Uh, <laughs> you, Magic, were you inclined early on to b become friends with this guy because you, you were drawn to him because of his uh, basketball abilities? Was, was, we, did you want to be friends with him from the beginning? From the beginning, I wanted to be friends, but Larry didn't want n none of that. <laughs> you know, and so... That's just who Larry Bird is. <laughs> you know. And so I, I said, okay, if that's how it's going to be, then we have to be like that. <laughs> I started disliking him too. Then, you know? uh, but, you know, he told me that, you know, I smiled all the time and he knew that uh, I, I will smile at you, but I want to cut your heart out at uh -huh. the same yeah. time. So. Yeah. He knew that that was part of my strategy right. to get him, lure him in as so, my friend. So he, he didn't want to show, demonstrate any weakness by becoming your friend. Now, did you feel what his advances to being a friend and you just rejected them? You were not interested? You didn't like him? I mean, what was what was your it's side not, of that? It's not like one more girlfriends, you know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you say advances, I get a little scared. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, my, my thing was when you compete, you're really not friends. You, you want to keep mm -hmm. an edge. And I was like that through high school and through college. But Irvin is an outgoing guy. He loves everybody. He wants to high five. And, you know, he got that big, <laughs> big smile. My goal was to try to take three of them teeth home with me. <laughs> <laughs> Two different perspectives. <laughs> That's interesting because. Uh, in Indiana, uh, yeah. Michigan, uh, a, a same generation of, of basketball, uh, similar players, identical players, similar uh, ideology about playing, anything to do with the Midwest or the times that you guys came from? I, I think it's the Midwest, and I, I think uh, when you think about Indiana high school basketball, I mean, everybody says it's the best. You think about Michigan, we're right there with Indiana, and I, so our, how we were taught to play the game both Larry and I, and then the way we wanted to play the game as individuals. And yeah. so we're mirrors of each other. Uh, I may smile a little bit more, but <laughs> the way we played the game of basketball was exactly the same because we would do anything to win. We didn't care about scoring points. We cared about winning the game and making our teammates better. Yeah. And that's why I think that, you know, oh, thank you. I loved we it. were able to change not only basketball, but we were able to change the NBA, too. And so that yeah, was great I, for both I want to talk about that mm -hmm. in, in a little bit. But So now you guys meet the first time in this uh, summer league tournament, whatever it was. The, the next time is for the NCAA championship. Is that right? What, what, what did that uh, – and it was like a 10-point loss. Am I right, Larry? Well, it, it was 10 point. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> felt more more like a 20 point loss but you know when you're out there playing and you get started in these games sometimes you go uh oh these guys are pretty good right and i had that feeling at halftime that yeah. these guys were too much for us now, now uh, at, at the beginning of the game did you meet uh, Irvin uh, there why <laughs> <laughs> do you do you remember trying to talk to uh, Larry before the game nope yeah I, you had I, learned your lesson i learned my lesson and uh at that time, he was going after something I wanted bad, and I was going after something he wanted bad. So we didn't want to talk. We wanted to get it on and see who was the best. And, and, and in terms of uh, basketball, in terms of your career, in terms of your life and championships, what did losing that championship mean to you, and how did it affect you? Yeah, that's, that's the toughest one I've ever taken uh, because, you know, you had all your friends. Um, you're at a college. It's really when you step away from home, I, I felt um, – in uh, Indiana State, they, they accepted me, brought me in. Um, it was tough, and it's still tough. Yeah. But uh, still, still uh, tough but, today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But how, how about you, Magic? What did winning that title mean for you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you just heard him. It's still tough for him. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. We'll be back with Larry Bird, Magic Johnson. Yeah, That's that was golden. <laughs> I love their rival friendship, whatever you want to call it, because it's like I feel like they're just two, two genuine people, two very competitive people at the same time. Because it's like I feel like they have probably the best, the best friendship, because it's two people who are competing against each other pretty much at all times. Like, 
You know what I'm saying? That just seems a lot of fun. But let me drop talk. Let me know what y'all thought of Magic Johnson and Larry Bird on Letterman down below in the comments below. The person who requested this, thank you for requesting it. And uh, if y'all want me to react to something, go ahead and drop it in the comments and I'll get it out for you. And uh, with that being said, stay cool, stay safe, and I love y'all. Peace.